as I was like 17, 18, I got really, not necessarily depressed, but I got really anxious, mainly depressed, obviously. <laughs> I got really, not necessarily depressed, but I got really anxious, mainly depressed, obviously. And mm -hmm. I started experiencing things like, not necessarily like the psycho kind of things. For example, I would see bugs, I would feel bugs on me, that kind of thing. So then no, I, yeah, yeah, I got I get put on a lot of tablets. I had to see a psychiatrist. And then I think in 2018, I did make a video about it, but it's now private. I tried to kill myself in 2018, which is a bit deep. Mm -hmm. However, I tried jumping in front of a car. Police took me and they took me to like a mental health unit Jesus. ages away. It was about an hour or two away. Jesus. And that kind of stuff. But then they put me on loads of medication, et cetera, et cetera. But then I left there and I had such a positive mindset. Like mm -hmm. as soon as I left that place, like the day I left, I was like, you know what? I need to sort my life out. And I started taking tablets and stuff. And after a month or so, I was felt so much better. Yeah. And ever since then, my mental health has been good. Other than like other like health problems obviously that you know about mm -hmm. that have happened to me other than that my mental health well, has been absolutely perfect it, was it like the mental health do you think that stemmed from comments that people made in school i don't think it stemmed from comments people made in school i think it stemmed from when i was younger when oh, i was younger okay, i had yeah, a lot yeah. of do shit happen to me yeah. yeah do you think that the comments and maybe continual like aggression towards you might have been like a catalyst for that kind of I don't think it was. There. I'm no. honestly one of I'm one of those people who when I get hate comments, I don't really react to them. I see hate comments and I'm just like, you're a hater, you yeah. know? Mm. So when I see positive comments it makes me happy. But when I see like really bad hate comments, I'm just I just kind of ignore them because at the end of the day, if you're sitting there on your computer and you feel the need you have to hate on someone else online what, what else have you got to do with your life? You know, I've yeah. never sat and left a hate... I don't know if about you guys, but I've never sat there... And maybe when I was like 10, maybe. Like, even when I was like 10, I've never sat and actually left a hate comment to someone because, like... I think I used to abuse what, people on World of hell? Warcraft, but that was the worst <laughs> it ever got. Yeah, <laughs> but mine, mine, like, mine, 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 was all, mine was all gaming related. It was yeah, never yeah, like... But, yeah. like, I've no, never no, sat no. and left a hate comment on anyone. No. And I've YouTube's just always so, had to be so... I've humble. said this. YouTube's... Like, people will be like, oh, do you get hate... Oh, jeez. On YouTube or that? And I'm like, well... It builds you such a thick skin, exactly. So quickly, like because people say stuff to me the first few like, you'll be right. like the first, the first few you'll be like, oh jeez. But then after like ten, you'll be like, ah, oh, fuck it. Exactly. Yeah. Like honestly, like the hate comments I used to get compared to what I get now, and I get a lot now. Mm -hmm. But like even now, my YouTube comments versus my like hate comments are very, very like I get a huge like small amount of hate comments. But even when I get hate comments now, I'm just like, okay, like, but you're hating for what? Like, you're literally hating yeah. me because you're not happy with your own life. Like, I would never leave a hate comment on anyone. <laughs>